Today marks two years since a gunman killed 49 people and injured dozens more in an attack at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. Today there were commemorations all over the country in honor of the victims. Antonio Devon Brown. In Orlando, bells tolled 49 times outside a church, once for each of the victims. And all across the country, from Florida to California, supporters of gun reform staged die-ins, a reminder of the devastating human cost of the gun violence epidemic. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is in the control room with more on today's tributes. Gary. Well, enough is enough. Never again. Call it what you will. The gun control movement refuses to go away, continues to grow. This second anniversary of the Pulse nightclub mass shooting in Orlando saw demonstrations nationwide. Today. In Washington, D.C. today, hundreds gathered on the Capitol lawn for speeches calling for gun control and then joined in a die-in representing those slaughtered at Pulse, Parkland, all of our many mass shootings in New York. Parkland survivors were among those participating in the nationwide day of protest. This country brushes gun violence under the carpet. This country brushes urban violence under the carpet. You should... We should be talking about this every single day until something, until something changes. In Orlando today, survivors and family of the dead held a parade in memory of the Pulse massacre victims. They placed rainbow-colored pinwheels, and the names of the dead were read to a tolling bell. Maria Wright of Miami, whose son Jerry was murdered, was among those who read the names of the lost. And in West Palm Beach, across the bay from President Trump's Mar-a-Lago mansion, a die-in. And speakers, including Manuel Oliver, whose son Joaquin Oliver was murdered at Marjorie Stoneman. He said, we want to make sure that everyone knows that we understand that shootings are not only a school issue. It could happen anywhere. It's the common issue. The reason there's police in here is because they want to make sure that there's not another shooting. And so from West Palm to Washington, New York, and beyond, a national day of die-ins demand for change. And it's just not stopping. The Marjorie Stoneman Douglas activists have a nationwide tour, the Road to Change Tour, set to begin June 15th. They will board buses and travel to key congressional districts, urging voters to support candidates who support strong gun control. In the control room, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.